Hi there, welcome to Paint the Kitchen Red. I'm Nina and I share Instant Pot tips and recipes. Uh, today I'm going to be sharing with you the recipe for red beans and rice. It's one of my all-time favorite recipes to make in the Instant Pot. It is a pretty simple recipe but it is so delicious. And um, I wanted to give you a little history lesson on red beans and rice. Red beans and rice uh, was introduced to New Orleans way back in the late 1700s by the Haitians. And back in those days in the United States and um, in New Orleans, uh, Monday was considered to be laundry day. And on Mondays, the entire household was busy doing laundry because it took a whole day to do laundry since they didn't have all the conveniences that we have today. And so they needed a recipe that was pretty sim simple and something that they didn't have to watch over all the time and that was red beans. They would put a pot of red beans on the stove and it would simmer all day while they went about their business of doing laundry. And um, they would put in a ham bone left over from the previous night's Sunday dinner and so the ham dinner and so that's the history of this recipe to this day uh, red beans and rice as I understand it is popular on Monday menus at homes and at restaurants there are a few ingredients that I wanted to tell you about the first is the red beans I use uh, a small red a small variety of red beans it's called small red beans um, and one of the brands that i like is camellia brand but you can find goya small red beans or other hispanic varieties of small red beans at the latin section of your grocery store uh, i haven't really used kidney beans um, but i really like the creaminess of these small red beans and so that's what i tend to use if you were to use kidney beans uh, i'm not sure if you would have to cook it for a little bit longer. Now the small red beans also need to be soaked for this recipe and if you're like me I'm not very organized and I usually uh, don't think of it ahead of time so I don't soak my beans overnight and I forget and I want to make something like red beans and rice. I use the quick soak method in the instant pot and I have a recipe and a video for that if you want to try that yourself. The sausage that I use in this recipe is andouille sausage, uh, smoked andouille sausage. Uh, you get the raw variety, which um, I don't like to use. I use um, smoked sausage, and I think that's traditional in the recipe. If you can't find andouille sausage, you could use uh, Spanish smoked chorizo or um, kielbasa would work as well. Any, any, um, any kind of a, a smoked sausage would work in this recipe. Now a lot of my readers uh, substitute the spices that I use in this recipe with just Creole seasoning. I do sometimes as well. Tony Chachery's brand of Creole seasoning is really good and you can do that. But this recipe, the way I'm going to be, be making it today, and I generally make it this way, uses thyme, uh, black pepper, cayenne pepper, and salt. It, really simple ingredients but it's just so good and I think it's the ham that makes a difference. Now with regards to the ham you can either use ham hock or you can use a ham bone. I generally buy ham hock at the grocery store because it's easily available but this time I actually happen to have a ham bone in my freezer because I froze it the last time I made a ham and so that's what I'm going to be using for this recipe today. Okay, now I'm going to go over uh, the ingredients and uh, tell you how to make red beans and rice. So here are the ingredients you're going to need. Two tablespoons of vegetable oil, one pound of andouille sausage cut into slices, one cup chopped onion, one cup chopped bell pepper, one cup chopped celery, one tablespoon minced garlic, one teaspoon dried thyme, half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper or to taste, you could make it one teaspoon if you like things spicy, one teaspoon of salt or to taste, one teaspoon of black pepper, 
Um, now, if you wanted to substitute the cayenne pepper, salt, and black pepper with Creole seasoning, you can do that. I like the Tony Chesherie's brand of Creole seasoning, and I'll put a link to that in the notes. Four cups of chicken broth or water. Uh, chicken broth just gives it more flavor, so I would use that if you have it on hand. Two bay leaves. Uh, one pound of small red beans soaked overnight or using my quick soak method that I mentioned earlier. One smoked ham hock, or you can even use two, sometimes I do that. Um, or you can use a ham bone left over from your ham dinner. Four green onions chopped. A quarter cup of chopped parsley and uh, cooked rice and hot sauce to serve the red beans with. Now we're gonna heat the Instant Pot up by pressing saute. And once the inner pot is heated up, let's put the oil in to the inner pot. And once the oil is hot, add the andouille sausage. We're gonna saute the sausage until it's nicely brown. This can take from five to eight minutes. Uh, initially, you may find that the sausage is sticking to the bottom, but if you just let it sit for a bit, it'll dislodge from the bottom once uh, it gets caramelized. Now we're gonna remove the sausage to a bowl and add it back in later once the pressure cooking is all done. Now you may notice uh, it looks like I have more than a pound of sausage and I actually do because I had a little bit extra and I added it in there. So you know you can play around with the recipe and change the quantities of the meat uh, if you wish. Oops. Hard to get these last bits. I'm going to add the onions, the bell peppers, the celery, and the garlic. Let's stir everything together. And we want to cook the onion mixture until the onions are soft. And while you're cooking it, if you notice that uh, the bottom is getting brown, this is from all the juices from the meat, you can deglaze the inner pot by adding just a tiny little bit of broth to the onion mixture. And you'll see like magic, uh, the brown bits just kind of come away from the inner pot and they get in incorporated into the onions and it just adds a lot of flavor when you have this. Just make sure that those brown bits don't get burnt. That's the main thing. So as soon as you start seeing them become brown, go ahead and deglaze. We're going to add the thyme, cayenne pepper, salt, black pepper, and now I'm going to press cancel because I just want the spices to cook in the residual heat of the inner pot. Otherwise, they may burn. Now we're ready to add the broth. Bay leaves the beans, which have been soaked. And stir everything together. Now I'm gonna add in the ham bone. Uh, it's a pretty big piece, uh, so I just make sure it doesn't slip and just kinda let it sit in there nice and snug and it's gonna add a lot of flavor for us.
We're going to pressure cook for 30 minutes and do a natural release of pressure. Once the float valve has gone down, open the lid. And I'm going to remove the ham bone. Uh, it's pretty heavy and I don't think I can do it with this pair of tongs. So I'm going to have to use my hand. So just be careful. It's going to be hot possibly, but the bone part is not too bad. And take out uh, as many pieces of the ham that are loose. Now I'm going to remove about a cup to a cup and a half of red beans and I'm going to mash them to uh, add them back into the stew to make it really creamy and thick. So I'll use a fork to smush the beans. They're really well cooked so they're not difficult to mash. And once they're nicely mashed, I will add them back into the red beans to thicken everything up. Okay, let's set that aside. And now we're gonna cut up the ham. I separated the pieces of ham from the ham bone, trying to remove as much of the fat as I could. And the ham is so tender that you probably could just use a fork to shred it. You may not even need to use a knife because as you can see, it's just coming apart really easily. Now we're ready to add everything back into the red beans. I'm adding back the andouille sausage that I had reserved. Add in the ham. And one thing I forgot to mention before adding the sausage and the ham back in, if you wanted to skim off some of the fat from the top of the red beans liquid, you could do that. And finally, the red beans that were mashed up. It doesn't look very attractive, but it'll blend in with the liquid and thicken everything up and make it just the right consistency so it's not too watered down. Now we're ready to stir everything together. Now I'm going to turn on saute mode and let the red beans simmer and allow it to every all the flavors to melt together just for a couple of minutes. I have a bowl of rice and I'm going to serve the red beans onto the rice. It just makes such a great combination. And garnish with parsley and green onions. And dig in. Bon appetit. Well, I really hope you get to try this recipe out because like I mentioned before, it is one of my favorites. It is just so delicious. It's just a comforting recipe. And um, I would love for you to comment and let me know what you think of it. Uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.